Hello from Fake Business Class. I am here with the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Now, there are two really interesting and cool things about this laptop, uh, and I promise you that I will tell you them, but first we're gonna get through the boring things. There is a USB-A port, there are two USB-C ports. Uh, inside, there are core i5 or i7 8th gen processors. There's a MX150 discrete GPU from NVIDIA. Uh, it pretty much looks a lot like a MacBook Pro. It even has the same weird cursor keys and speaker layout. Uh, and it even comes in space gray. So make of that what you will. But there are some cool things about it. Uh, number one, just look at the screen. I mean, the bezels on this thing are absolutely tiny. Huawei says the screen to body ratio is 91%, which is higher than any laptop I've ever heard of. Uh, even on the bottom, uh, it's, it's a very, very small bezel, which is something where a lot of laptop makers slip up. Uh, and since there is no giant bezel on the bottom, you may be wondering, where is the webcam? Well, that brings me to point number two. Uh, where do you think it is? It's actually, it's actually here. It's hidden in this key. And if I press the key, it pops up. There's your webcam. Now, I'm just going to say straight up that this is not a great angle for a webcam. I am looking at the camera mode here. So when I'm sitting in a natural position, I, I have a great view of my chest and my shoulders and like maybe the bottom of my chin. So you kind of need to... Like maybe you can make it work if, if you're in business class like this fake plane. But I think if you're, uh, well, if you're using a web, webcam on an economy plane, I'm not sure what you're doing in the first place. But it's not going to work in a lot of situations, is what I'm, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, it's, if nothing else, it is a neat design, like, because it looks... You, you would have no idea that there was a webcam in here. It's, it's perfectly integrated into the function row of keys, and it, it's a neat solution. Not sure how practical it is, but it's a neat solution. So yeah, this is looking like a pretty solid laptop overall. Uh, it feels good, the build quality is very solid. Uh, the design is a little less der derivative when you close it, because it has this whole wedge thing going on. Uh, the keyboard is pretty good, the travel's not super high, but I think you can get used to it. Same with the trackpad, which is very big uh, and pretty responsive. The screen is great, like it's beyond the bezels, it's uh, 3000 by 2000 resolution, so that's, that's super high. And it makes it a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, which is the same as what you would get on a Surface device. So no complaints there. Um, yeah, we'll be spending more time with this laptop in the very near future, I will expect. It is coming out in Q2 around the world, and we only have European pricing right now, but it's going for 14.99 euros for the lowest end model. This guy is filming you, Viren. He's being weird. Get away. Can you hear me? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, are we good?